Hi and welcome to the Wishing Shed. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable little Highland cow using some carded wool and some felting yarn. Um, so I've got the stencil sheet but I'm going to be scaling things down a little bit so to make the a little bit smaller to make a baby sized one. Here we go. I'm going to start off making the body and this wool is carded wool and it's available in my Etsy shop and I'm going to just roll this up tightly and tuck in the ends and then I've got my felting needle and I'm just going to needle felt it all over so this was our larger sized highland cow and this is our, going to be our little baby one okay so we're going to make the legs next so taking the same coloured wool um, we're going to roll it up tightly so I'm not going to cut the video or speed the video or anything just so you can see how long it takes to make a leg and I'm just felting with my needle and I'm hoping to stock these needles soon. They're absolutely brilliant. They're, I call it like an all-purpose needle because um, you don't have to, basically it's all I use now, um, along with this wool, which I've been sort of doing for the last year or so. And um, I'd say the closest thing that comes to this is a 36 um, triangle, but this is an all-purpose needle. So you don't need a finishing needle. I sort of I use this one for everything. Um, so just showing you. Let me roll and look how wonderful that wool is. That is just amazing. That's so quick. I felt it a little bit firmer, so it really doesn't take long at all. This wool, and then you felt up the feet to make them flat. And that's it and roll again there you go so these are your legs so you can pull them a little to make them really nice and even and um, you want four the same thickness there or thereabouts that's our legs right so I'm going to use a stencil sheet just to get the right length of my leg and then measure the other legs up against them as well and leaving a little excess fiber i'm going to cut my legs one at a time It doesn't matter, I didn't felt this too well, but it's going to be covered anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so lining the legs up, so we have our little leg, and we're just going to use our needle and felt straight onto the body. So I'm going to put a little loose fibre over the join just to help secure the leg on that felt really quickly so they sort of go under the body a little bit so right they're really well attached so they're not sticking out on the side, but they actually end up being felted on like so. Isn't that wonderful? Right, so I'm going to attach the other legs the same way.
So I'm attaching the other two. I want them to be in the same position. So if you turn your cow upwards, then you can make sure you get them in the same position. And then we turn and make sure that they are the same length, like so. And then we felt it on. This colour is light rust, um, which would also be good for foxes or red squirrels. And there's, so there's light rust, or I've got this colour, which is dark rust, which is beautiful as well. So you could also do a highland cow in this colour, or a little fox in this colour. So again, I'm just going to felt that up a little bit, that leg's a tiny bit longer, just a tiny bit, so I felt it up a little bit into the body and look at that, it shortens it. And then just make sure that he stands up, perfect. And that's the head, that, that's the body and the legs, so now I'm going to do the head. So, and the back of the head is higher up. So you need to look at it bird's eye view and you've got the, the thinner nose going out wider and then from the, the side view, the, the thinner nose and the head going up higher. So if you need to, you can add more wool around the top of the head just to make it um, a bit bigger and keep checking alongside um, with your body to make sure the proportions are good. So for the larger Highland cow I used some um, taut brown for the nose area but for this little baby one I'm going to cover the nose with some flesh colour. So just taking a little bit and um, you really hardly need any at all and just needle felting that on. Using the needle to control the fibres around the nose. create the little mouth. So you just want to pull a little bit of the black wool and roll it in between your fingers and keep pulling and teasing and rolling it out for the mouth. And start at the side and anchor it in. drawing that on a bit better so this area comes up like so and this area is down a little bit and we got the chin which is thinner so we felt that in and that goes up and there you go and now we're going to put the nostrils in so you just need to roll a couple little bits of black really don't need much at all but then um, you need to not felt it in too hard or it will disappear so we just lightly attach it little nostril use a needle again to tease the fibers so that um, you get a nice neat little shape that's one and then you can put the other one use the line of your needle to work out where you want the other nostril to go and right so I'm going to make the ears now um, using the same colour which is the light rust colour and we don't want them to be too big so again we've got our stencil sheet I'm using as a guide um, and you just fold the wall over to sort of fit into your 
ear shape and felt and again use your needle to lightly um, pull the wool over to shape into your little ear and I'm needle felting it all over and then I'm lifting and turning and just felting the other way as well just lightly shaping the wall that's it and if you pinch the wool together you want this area loose to attach to the head and then we just pinch to shape the ear like so and I'm gonna make the other one so if you leave that one as you're making the other one then you can get them a similar size just to compare as you're making it if you look on your stencil they need to be kind of to the top um, when they're finished so we attach them we attach the fibre underneath like so but the ear will end up towards the top so just attach it on that looks good and we line the other one up look on the top of the head to make sure they're in the similar position line it up look front ways to make sure they're even as well and then needle felt it on so for the horns I've just um, dipped the felted strip of merino into a little bit of PVA glue mixed with water and just shaped it a little bit and I'm gonna let that dry okay so I decided um, I did want to give this little one some eyes so I'm gonna just put in some little stem back eyes and um, I find the best way to do that is um, if you line your needle up just to the top of the where the ear is and just not quite halfway just before and I'm gonna make a little eye socket so I'll push my needle in and twist like so to create the eye socket and then if you just dab a little bit of high tech glue so fabric glue I use this one um, or PVA glue will do and um, just dab the ends in to our glue just a tiny bit on the end and we just push that in like so we just got tiny little eyes look quite cute got a bit of glue on his nose ah okay. so I'm just gonna line the other eye up now going across making sure that the ear top of the ear halfway mark your position and make the eye socket making sure you don't push the other eye out if you if you go down a little bit of an agonal, um, diagonal then you won't push or disturb this um, bit of wire that was in that stem eye there's little eyes you can see right so um, now we're going to attach the horns to the top of the head right so we're going to attach the horns to our um, little one's head now and they if you position the bend in the middle so they're even, both ends, and you just they want to sit just in between the ears, like so. And I'm gonna use the same colour wall and just bit by bit needle felt over the horns into the head, attaching them on. So the head needs to sit just above um, the, the chest here so and just sort of not too far back not too far forwards we just want it 
up there and we're going to felt down so you can actually sew the head to the body if you want to but I'm just going to needle felt it on with this wool so needle felting down slightly and then needle felting a little bit of wool to anchor it so needle felting some wool from the back of the head over the join onto the body to hold it in place so when you're felting you'll you'll probably notice that um you know each little one has their own character like his head now is now sort of tilted a little bit to the side which is quite cute so i'm not going to try and adjust it too much i'm just going to leave him like that and then um we're going to put his top coat on so he's looking really really cute now uh, i don't even know if i want to put this top coat on or not but I'm going to, but um, so I've just cut three lengths of this um, um, felting yarn here, and I'm going to start by covering the back end. So if you just needle felt it on. You need um, quite a tough needle, so a 36 triangle would do, but it just attaches really well. And felting it on covering the whole bottom and it doesn't matter if it's a little bit messy so we've covered the bottom here I'm going to bring this white strand around so we're covering a sort of arch around the bottom so you could use merino tops for this as well um, or a carded corridor would work And once we've got our length for the bottom, we just trim like so. And that's the bottom. So now covered. the back end's covered. I'm going to use a little bit over the top, like so, and felt down onto the legs. So we're just layering it on bit by bit. You've got to be careful with your fingers. Just going a little bit onto the legs. So once it's attached, you can just trim like so and felt down onto the legs just a little bit and turn and do the other side And if you have any little patches, you can just take another strand. And just make sure it goes um, right the way over. So you haven't got one side thicker than the other. So you go over to the other side as well. Fill that on. So for his chest area, um, I'm going to fold in half the lengths in half and tuck under the neck and you'll put that in at the bend and then felt down onto the chest down onto the legs And do the other side. Okay. 
So I'm just going to cover the head now with some of the felting yarn and um, just if you just tuck it in, attach it to the back of the head first and tuck it right in like so and then you can drag it over and the first lot I'm going to um, bring it to the side of the face and just lightly attach it on just in front of the ears and slightly under the head there like so and then I'm just going to cut that off and then bring a little bit down and carefully felt it onto the face not covering the nose but just just in, um, before the nose and then cut off and pull this one so we're doing this side of the head first I'm going to leave these little eye poking through I think that looks quite cute so just a touch and trim and trim it a little shorter so just attaching some more wool on to the back of the head first And then carefully dragging it over and covering the side of the head first. So, and then I'm just going to add a bit more over the top of the head. And you can have it sort of wispy up or you can felt it down um, entirely up to you. I might leave his a bit wispy like that and then just give a, a light trim sort of all over of the felting yarn and I might even add a bit more just make him really hairy I might just add a little bit more so there you have it the larger highland cow and the little baby highland cow um, and the last thing I did was just needle felt a little thin tail and put a tiny bit of the felting yarn over it. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out my Etsy shop for your needle felting supplies.